I'm Avery Mann, and we're going behind the scenes with America's Most Wanted. John, a couple weeks ago we were talking about Operation Orange Tree. Uh, you went to a press conference in Florida. I know you were really proud of what your governor down there is, did. And then something great happened after we broadcast that on America's Most Wanted. Can you tell me a little bit about that? It's kind of the culmination of almost 28 years of work. And in about a 10-day period, they took down 77 child predators. Wow. 15 of these guys were exchanging an internet manual on how to have sex with a child under five years old and not get caught. Really Even disgusting. if you're the father, how you can do it without your wife catching you. If you're the babysitter, you're the cousin. However it is, how to commit crimes against children, penetrate them, rape them, etc., and not get caught. Some of the most disgusting stuff I've ever seen. But the good side of it is that the state of Florida now has used this and, and can show the other 49 states that it can be done on the state, local, federal level, that cooperation. I think it's revolutionized the way that law enforcement catches child pornographers and child predators in real time. When you say real time, you mean that if there's these images are being downloaded, the police can actually go out and get them right at that moment? Every one of these 770 guys were either arrested while they were exchanging child pornography, a couple of them were webcamming children as they were molesting them. The downside was that five of those kids involved in that child pornography are still unidentified. So somewhere in the world they're being abused. A real benefit of that show, of course, is one of the guys they were looking for was this guy, Pierre Domville. And cops in South Florida want Pierre Dominique Domville. He and, and five other Lundy. cowards Both were wanted for raping and molesting a 15-year-old girl, all of them together. He saw himself on the show and turned himself in. A man claiming to be Pierre Domville called and wanted to turn himself in. Do you see any police cars? At first I didn't know what to think. Yeah. I wasn't sure if it was really the fugitive or if it was just someone playing a joke. Do you want to do you want to flag him down and say, uh, hey, I'm wanted? That was the only right thing he's done in a long time, but I, I really, I'm using that as my nationwide model because a lot of what's done to children these days in the world of child pornography and child exploitation is done peer to peer. Mm -hmm. It's done over the internet. Those are the hardest guys to catch. But now there's a software out there that hunts these low life creeps down in real time. So if cops are looking at this, watching you on amw.com talk to me about this, they're from Hawaii, they're from Alaska, they're from California. Tell us again what they can do to help get these bad guys off the street. The best thing is that the software was donated by a friend of mine in his company. It's state-of-the-art software that in real time tracks these child predators and child pornographers right back to where they are over the internet. It's secret, it's revolutionary, but it's for free for every police agency that wants it. 77 really nasty child predators involved with little kids are behind bars because of that effort and that software. Well, I'm looking forward to the Saturday Night Show and we'll see how Pierre Donville turned himself in and at least it's one more bad guy hurting children who's not on the streets anymore. Absolutely. Should be done all over the world.